happy. We're headed to Hardee's. Hardee's, which is what, 40 miles away? Probably. Yeah, probably about 40 miles away. And I'm gonna turn you around. And it's froggy. And we're just not sure that that's worth risking our life for. Uh, so we're gonna stop here at our McDonald's. Which they are unusual that they serve biscuits and gravy. And they serve very good biscuits and gravy. Yeah. So we're gonna stop here since that's only about six miles and uh, have breakfast here at McDonald's. We'll show you our biscuits and gravy. So we just ran into some bullshit here at McDonald's. <laughs> Due to understaffing, their lobby is closed. So we're gonna to try to eat our biscuits and gravy in the car. Couldn't get into the lobby. So we had to go through the drive-thru. So just like COVID, you gotta eat in the car. <laughs> They're gonna break me and going into places. I'll end up eating in a car then yes. forever. Yes. So this McDonald's that we just had our biscuits and gravy out here in the parking lot because the lobby's closed because some people didn't show up for work. We had one daughter who worked at um, 18 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> and then our other daughter I over here at the Burger King worked across the street at the Burger King. Mm -hmm. Now they wouldn't work at the same place. Of course not. Um, but I want to talk for a second about why these lobbies are closed. Okay, today is extremely foggy. Maybe the parent said, I don't want you <coughs> driving in the fog. I get that. We had our daughters, we didn't want to drive in the snow occasionally. But no, we got our asses going and took them to work. Well, Nobody went shorthanded because of the weather. Understand where she came from. She was in retail. She was in charge of multiple stores. Uh, they wasn't restaurants, but management is management and so you got a real problem here with today's and you can lean on the side of the wages and you can lean on the side of laziness and you lean on the side of the government paying people not to work so you got a whole bunch of things going against everything right now but i lean against the side that the parents aren't doing their job if my child was supposed to be here at six this morning. We would have brought we, them. Yeah, and it was too foggy for them to drive. We would have brought we them. We would have got up and brought them to work because nobody at the restaurant should have to suffer because our kid couldn't get here. Now, when we drove and got our food, there was a 16, 17 year old working and then, you know, one regular employee. So, you know, one of them showed up, but a few of them didn't show up, I guess. But uh, I don't know. The drive through is busy. Um, I think they prefer just to do drive through honestly. Yeah, I do too. Um, yeah. They don't like us old farts sitting in there, <laughs> tying up seats. Yeah, and having to clean up after us. So. But anyway, so that's, that's my rant this morning on um, people not showing up for work. I think the, the parents of the people who are not showing up and I think it is, you know, a bunch of the kids and that's parents need to be doing a better job. You know, they're getting paid and they're dependent upon. <laughs> okay, so there's the rant. That ain't a rant. That's oh, just, geez. Yeah, that's, that's not disgusting. I got biscuits and gravy on me. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, buddy, the dog will the eat dog, him the, up. The dog will be loving on me. <laughs> <laughs> the dog loves you. I, right. My mom's in the hospital and she spilled something on her and I said, you know, mom, that's why you need a little dog because they will take care of that for you. <laughs> All right. We've got a, a bag order we've got to fill. So, uh, yep. Uh-huh. So that's where we're off to. Yep. And uh, we will get our bag order done and, and we will take you along for that trip and hopefully it will not be foggy for it. It's close. No big deal. We have an eight bag delivery. Uh, I think we got four from our experimenting with the, the new. Yeah, we got five. Uh, I gotta order more bags, dude. In fact, that's it. That's eight. Oh, there's one over there. Um, I get my bags from either Amazon, which is not where I usually get them, or what's that? A, um, Northern Toolsman, I think it's Northern Tool. 
Is this an eight? I think it's 14. Northern Woodsman. Yeah, yeah, that's good. This one looks a little light. So I just put another one out. This woman couldn't believe, and I know that some of you won't be happy about this, but uh, this woman was happy because I haven't raised my prices, and I'm not going to raise my prices. going to do it. People are hard up right now as it is and having a campfire might be a really nice family thing they could do together and I'm just not doing it yet. All right so I'm trying to get it out of the way so I can fill it a couple more. And Larry cut this top off for me so it's not nearly as high. In fact, I think I'm going to tip it again. I just like to look at it. That's five. Now, this one will be too long. I think I'm not going to hold that. Do that one right now. Uh, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13. See, that's the problem is I look at the wood and talk about the wood, even when you guys aren't with me. Just do that. And I meant to bring a, a tape down and tell you exactly what size bag this was. I think it's a 21 by 24, something like that. We need to come down and split some more wood here with the crimson. And uh, I need to order more bags. I just haven't been putting much effort into my bag wood, but now that Larry put it on his Facebook or Marketplace or whatever it is, um, I'm not having an issue. <laughs> This is a me problem. Right here, this is why I had it longer. You're hanging it up right here. Is this that one piece that's hanging up? Alright, there. Alright, so I'm going to put that one there. And I'm going to put another one there. And I'm going too fat at the end. We'll see what's going to happen with that one. That's a nice piece. I can get it in there.
See? That works fine. So, it, the drying of the wood. I'm not going to get too heavy into that, but I am on gravel, but I still have a lot of moisture wicking in my wood area. And that's why my wood is up on, oh, that's a nice piece. My wood is on cinder blocks and two pallets. To make sure it doesn't get damp. There at the bottom. Let's see. There we go. I got a lot of. You need to do some splitting. I got wood here for six months. I think it's pretty dry on the table, and you might need to get on that crimson and get some split off. Perfect for me. I mean, my wood business can't justify spending a bunch of money until I like, raise the prices, and I'm not planning on it. Let me see if I got eight yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, done. We're on our way to deliver. Eight bags. Eight bags. And we put the eight bags in the Camry. In the trunk. In the trunk because they fit the very well. In the trunk. They fit very well in the trunk. Yes. And the Camry gets 40 miles a gallon. And, and they can't believe that we're going to sell bags for $5 in delivery. Well, it That's was. That's how special we are. It was what, eight miles? Yeah. And uh, uh, we were going to eat at Subway anyway. That's right. So we we're going to deliver this wood. And it paid for Subway. And it paid for Subway. Thank you. Yes. It will pay for Subway. It certainly will. So, we will be there in just a very few minutes. And they don't want to be filmed. So no, they don't want to be filmed. And so, well, no, no, we wouldn't do that to anybody who doesn't want it. However, they did enjoy our channel. Yes. Because they did check out um, how much wood they were getting. And the poor woman is uh says she's got a bunch of kids and they have a fire pit and that's what she's going to use it for so we'll let you know after we deliver well we've had our subway we have a meatball sub and then we have cookies because that's what we like and we um, didn't take a picture of the sub no because i guess um we was hungry yes we were um hungry. yes this poor woman had a trunk full of wood she needed wood for her fire yeah, pit. Yeah, listen to this. And someone sold her sold her logs. 12 inch diameter, cut 16 inch, and that was supposed to be her fire, fire pit. pit wood. That poor woman, that poor woman. I feel bad for her. So they have one of those little metal fire pits out in the front yard. Um, I guess they'll use those logs to sit on. She said, she goes, I don't have any axe. I don't have anything to split this up with. I what am she, I supposed I to she, do with it? I think she was wanting to barter. Yeah, but, maybe so. But, uh, I didn't. We didn't jump on that, did we? 
All right, well, anyway, we have had a great morning here on Mother's Day. And uh, I've had a Mother's Day meal, and I am on the way, as soon as I get home, on the way to the hospital to see my mother. I did have a sad uh, event here today. Uh, my oldest brother, David, oh, yeah. his wife, Tanya, passed away. And this has been quick. She's been fighting. Three weeks, three weeks. She's weeks. been fighting knee replacements, and oh. she just had a terrible time. And the terminal, they just sent her home with hospice. Yeah, just last, the other day. Just the other day, and she passed. And it's been it's been a kind of a tough. To my brother Dave. Yeah, kind of a tough, tough couple weeks here for our family. He's two years older than me. So, anyway. Um, Thank you for all the new subscribers. Yes. Thank you for sharing our videos. Um, thank you for watching our videos. Thank you if you happen to share our videos. We really appreciate that. And um, I guess we'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Toodles.